The objective within this lesson is to demonstrate understanding of area and perimeter formulas by solving multi-step word problems. Here we have a multi-step word problem asking us about the perimeter of the screen within the auditorium. Let's read the problem together. The projection screen in the school auditorium is three times as long and three times as wide as the screen in the library. The screen in the library is five feet long with a perimeter of 18, and that's 18 feet. What is the perimeter of the screen in the auditorium? Let's go ahead and first figure out the size of the library's screen, and so we'll use this information right here. So what it says is that the screen in the library is five feet long, and that the perimeter, or the distance around, is 18. So if this is five feet long, we know that the opposite side is also five feet, right? Now, if we have 5 feet plus 5 feet, what do we get? Right, 10 feet. And how many more feet do we need to be able to equal 18? 10 feet plus blank equals 18 feet. Hmm, what is that? Right, 8 or 8 feet. So we have 2x equaling 8 feet, meaning that the width of the screen within the library, and remember this is the screen in the library then, is what? Right, x equals 4 feet. So x equals 4 feet. And then so we have a screen that is 5 feet by 4 feet. We can then use this information, because this is a two-step problem, to figure out the projection screen in the school auditorium. It says that it's three times as long and three times as wide as that screen in the library. Three times. Hmm. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a little bit more room here. Okay, so we say that it's three times and three times as wide. Three times as long, three times as wide. So we know that this right here is four feet. So if the library is four feet and it's three times as wide, so how many fours are we talking about for the projection screen in the school auditorium? Not one, not two, but three fours. And how do we indicate three fours? What do we do? Right, we multiply 3 times 4, which gives us 12 feet. So that 12 feet is the width of our projection screen. Now for the length, it says 3 times as long. So 3 times as long as 5 feet. 3 times as long as 5 feet, or 3 fives. 3 times 5 being what? Right, 15 feet. The opposite side would be what? 12 feet. And the opposite side here would be what? Right, 15 feet. And how do we figure out the perimeter? And this here is the projection screen within the auditorium. So this is the school auditorium screen. We just add these up. 12 plus 15 plus 12 plus 15. So perimeter is equal to 12 plus 15 plus 12 plus 15. 12 plus 15 is 27. So this 12 plus 15 is also 27. And when we add 27 and 27 together, we get 54. The important part to remember is that we are adding together feet. So that is 54 feet is the perimeter of the screen within the school's auditorium. So we need to be sure to express our answer clearly as well. So as we see, yes, the library we figured out first 
was four feet for the length. And so, for that length, we had three times four, which was 12 feet for the school auditorium. And then for the length, we had five feet on the library screen, and three fives was 15 feet. And then we figured out the perimeter. Always be sure to have that statement and to express your answer clearly. Let's look at another type of problem. Go ahead and work out this problem right alongside with me. The width of Jill's room is 8 feet. The length is twice the width. She places a carpet that measures 4 feet by 6 feet into the room. And then the question asks, how much square feet of the room is not covered by carpet? First off, let's go ahead and write a focused answer. Can you write one out? Pause that video while you're writing it out. And make sure to have your unit and what it is that you are talking about. Did you write out something similar? Make sure to have that label square feet and make sure that you are talking about carpet as well. Let's draw a picture to represent what it is that we are working on. And then so when we are working with these problems with area and perimeter, we can draw pictures. And it helps us to draw pictures so that we can picture what is going on in the problem. Let's see what we start with first. Do you want to start with the width of Jill's room, 8 feet, and the length is twice the width? Okay, so width, 8 feet, right? So that is the width of the room at 8 feet. Then it says that the length is twice the width. So the length here is twice the width. So this is 1 times the width. That's 2 times the width then. So that would be 2 times 8, which is 16 feet. All right. And then, so, this is rectangular, so the opposite side is also 8 feet, and this side over here is 16 feet. It also says that she places a carpet that measures 4 feet by 6 feet into the room. So our carpet, that's 4 feet. And that there is six feet. And then so our carpet's area is right here. And we notice we put it over here into the corner. So that way we can look at the rest there of that area that is not covered by carpet. How would we figure that out? Could you figure out the area of the carpet? The area of the carpet would be equal to 4 times 6, where we have it length times width, and 4 times 6 being 24, and our label is square feet. For the area of the room, we have that room being 8 by 16. Let's do our multiplication where we go 16 times 8. 8 times 6 is 48, so we will place an 8 and regroup the 4. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12. So the area of the room is 128 square feet. Now, what do you do with those two areas? So we're looking for the area that's not covered. So we're looking for this area here. So we'll take the full area here and do what with this area here? Looks like all we do is we just subtract those two areas that we figured out. 
So we have 128 minus 24 square feet. 8 minus 4 is 4, 2 minus 2 is 0, and we have a 1. So there is 104 square feet of the room that is not covered by carpet. Check over your work, and be sure to bring in that piece of scratch paper with your work tomorrow. It's always important to express our answers clearly, and it did help us to draw this out to help us think about the problem.